Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 12. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here uh, taking part in the Sweden Club. Uh, we're taking the Volvo. Starting off with Cir Circuit de Catalunya. Moving on to uh, Maple Valley. Uh, Camino Vallejo. And then Iberian International Circuit. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. FM4 probably overshadows FM3 in multiplayer just by being a more memorable and outright superior game. Yeah, I never played multiplayer at all in Forza up until I started on Motorsport 7. I just never had, as a kid, never had an urge to play multiplayer games. I had a video game at my disposal and I had my own creativity. I could entertain myself for hours with a video game. Especially like these racing games where you've got so many cars and so many tracks. Why do you need multiplayer? I also had no friends back then as well, but that's, we'll gloss over that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, stuff like Minecraft is, uh, obviously the new Minecraft is not anything special anymore. But, like, Minecraft was brilliant back in the day. Like, single-player games, you didn't need multiplayer. Multiplayer is good. But it's not necessary. One more music to me feel so free. Celebrate and dance with me. So yeah, for anyone watching this on uh, YouTube right now, first of all, welcome. Second of all, uh, I have got some new perks. I've already explained this to Twitch chat, but I'm going to explain it to uh, the YouTube viewers as well. Um, so for 99 pence, you can help support the channel. It's cheap as that. Uh, that will give you access to uh, special roles in my Discord, some special badges next to your name, replies to comments and stuff like that. Fairly basic. Uh, and then for our silver tier, um, for two ninety nine a month, you can actually get early access to every single Forza video. So if you're enjoying this and you want to see the next video sooner, uh, you, you can. You get early access content with the uh, silver tier. We are going to be uh, bringing back the gold, platinum, diamond tiers. Um, but I am planning some exclusive merch just for those tiers that I want to do. So hopefully we can do that at some point. That'd be a really cool idea. To this day, I still enjoy GT5 single player and played it after the server shut down because of variety to be had in the game. Exactly. GT5 was fucking solid. I played so much of that game and I, I'm going to be honest. Gran Turismo 5, when, when I bought it, Newsflash, I didn't play the career mode. I have never played the career mode of GT5 until I was 17 years old. That game was nearly 10 years old at that point. Never played it because the arcade mode was so good that I could hop in, drive a car, and it didn't bore me. I think the highest level I ever got to. It got shit for the car models and stuff, but it's a great game. But again, the car models didn't really matter too much. Like, when you think about it, I am enjoying this game right now. As of right now, this is acceptable as a video game. If the next Forza looked like this, I wouldn't give a shit. Because I'm having fun playing the game. I've got a variety of different cars. It's an enjoyable campaign. Sure, it would lose points for graphics because it's worse than 
the other games out there. But it gains more points in being fun. And for me, a fun experience is always worth more than a fucking... Oh, look, that tree's got a couple more polygons. Next. <laughs> like... It's just stupid. And my car's gone off the road. Lovely. Uh, so we're now level one. We got 10% discount on driveline upgrades. Nice. Yeah, so... I, I will agree with you. Um, in a day and age where resolution and frame rate are king, we've lost the appreciation for a truly amazing game with a soul and engaging gameplay. Uh, and that's what Zeno has just said in my chat. So, here's the thing, right? I understand we're getting more powerful hardware to run games at higher resolutions and higher frame rates. For any display below 70 inches, 4K is fine. If you've got a screen above 70 inches, then maybe 8K might be worthwhile. But let's be real. If you've got a TV that... Who are we making consoles for? Are we making it for the 0.01% that have a big-ass TV and that have 4K? Or are we making it for a wider audience? When you think about it, right, I am playing on a 1080p monitor. Unless you're gaming on anything bigger than 32 inches, 1080p is fine. If you're above 32 inches on your monitor, maybe you might want 1440p or 4K. Fair enough. But the chances of people who game the way that majority of gamers game, at a desk, on their computer, whatever, majority of them don't need 4K. Like, they're catering for a very small audience, but what that catering for that small audience does is it has a huge negative impact on everyone else. For example, right, WRC, okay? WRC 10 is so poorly optimized in a weird way. So my console can run it at high 60 FPS, okay? But it will not run that game at 120 frames at all, even on low, it struggles. And that's because they've put so much effort into the quality, even the low settings don't work well enough. Because they don't put time and effort to focus it. So it's basically running like, oh, look, I've run it at high. It's running at 90% of my GPU. Oh, I've run it at low and it's doing not that much more. Like, developers aren't even making their games to run well. Granted, a console only needs one resolution. But even then, when you think about it, if you're focusing on, like, why do developers focus on making a game 4K30 for the small majority and don't even put an option for 108060? Exactly. Like, you think Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a perfect example. That is a beautiful game. It runs at 4K but it's limited to 30 frames, right? Oh, obviously that's on a 1X. Oh, so can you not um, downgrade it to 1080p? You know, because 1080p is, you know, like a quarter of the pixels mathematically, and then just double the frame rate. So really, in theory, it's only half. Obviously, I know that's not how it works, but like, running it at a lower resolution will allow more frames. That's just how stuff works. Nope. No option for that. It is so backwards. And especially as, as a gamer like me, I prefer a smoother experience. Granted, there are people who love the cinema experience. Having it as um, visually beautiful as possible and don't care about frame rate. But there are some people that do care about frame rate. So then why would you develop a game 
to hinder so many other people to benefit a small demographic. Make two versions. It doesn't even have to be two versions. It's just, oh, set the render distance to 500 meters, but for this version, set it to 300. It's not like you've got to cut off an arm and a leg to get it to run. It's just dumb. Lazy. Laziness from developers. There's so many lazy developers nowadays. And it's ironic that I speak... Oh, hang on. Alfa Romeo has sent me an 2007 Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. Let's fucking go. And a 10% discount on ignition upgrades by Bosch. <laughs> bish bash Bosch. Bish bash Bosch, Bosch, Bish bash Bosch. Nice. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Sorry, bear with me, chat. I need to change my trousers. This is beautiful. <laughs> All right. I'm going to continue with my rant. Uh, Zeno's sent another comment, uh, similar to how last clip was. Uh, it's the same reason almost no games use 120 hertz on the new consoles. We can't. We can have any, anything up to 4K at 60, but even at 720p, we can't run a game 120 FPS because the option isn't there. What the hell are you doing, Saab wanker? Um, I will agree and disagree. So a lot of games don't give you the flexibility on console. It's I understand it's designed to be simple, but there should be some form of option, you know. Um, when it comes to... Um, <laughs> hi, YouTube, you're welcome for half of what he's on about. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is brilliant. Thank you very much, Zeno, for the topic and the talking points. Um... Yeah, so when you think about it, I, I'm going to use WRC 9 and 10 as an example. So WRC 9, I bought on the PS5 because I was like, um, it had a PS5 version. I hated how it WRC 8 played on the Xbox because of the frame rate, because it was locked at 30 and it was horrible. I saw WRC 9 was on PS5, so I was like, I'll give WRC one last try to see if I like the game. Turns out it was the frame rate that I had a problem with. Because it was a, at a lower frame rate, it was harder for me to play the game. So, run it at 60, no problems. It's nice and easy for me. So that's why I'm really into WRC at the moment. That's why I bought it on PC to enjoy it. That game comes with a 30 FPS mode in quality, a 60 FPS mode, and a 120 FPS mode. Now, I don't care how the game looks, as long as I can pick a target frame rate. Because I know that a game with PC, it's really complicated and really annoying to try and set the quality to the way that I want it, so that I can get a target frame rate. Now, Obviously, setting like high, medium, low for different settings, it's a pain in the backside. Consoles have it right at the moment where they have options. So, WRC has a, um, a quality mode which runs at 30, 4K, um, a performance mode which runs at 1080, 60, and then a 120 hertz mode which runs at, you guessed it. 1080p, 120. That's all... That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, an 8K display, you're never going to notice the pixels unless you're sat so close to it. And the difference between 4K and 8K really isn't substantial enough to warrant taking a four times performance hit. Well, what's the point? The sweet spot is 1440p, granted. And the sweet spot for frame rate is 72 frames a second. 
That is a sweet spot. Anything more than that is more reaction time. Because 72 frames is smooth. That's why VR is 72 FPS. As a minimum. Because that's the smoothest our eyes can see. Before... You know, it being pointless. I've played VR games at 120 hertz, and I've played them at 72 hertz in VR. And the difference isn't substantial enough. Like the only difference is when I move my head, it might take a fraction of a second longer. So you know, it's just weird. I forgot to move this over to the Sweden club, and we've pretty much finished the Sweden club now. <laughs> Uh, level 3, got 10% discount on intake manifold and throttle body and oil and cooling upgrades by Volvo. Woohoo! Yeah, exactly, Zeno. So, we shouldn't be focusing on resolution, we should be focusing on frame rates and stuff like that. It's, um, when, when you think about it, um, we're at a point of resolution where, why are we going higher? It doesn't matter at this point. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, optimization. The, the sole reason that games look crap is because developers don't optimize them right. Like they're putting... Granted, we're being given better hardware, but a developer... More than likely, developers are developing on beast computers, like computers with 3090s and stuff like that. And they're trying to optimize for that and then trying to convert that into a PlayStation thing. The thing is, I think game developers should develop a game to make it run at low on the oldest hardware that Nvidia supports. I think that's how all developers should do it. Low should be able to run at 60 FPS on the oldest hardware that NVIDIA supports. If it does not run at 1080 or 72060, for example, if it does not run at that, then it's poorly optimized. But a lot of developers are getting 3090s in their builds to develop. So you, you think, right, that thing, like if I was to swap to a 3090 right now, all of my gaming problems would go away. But I would also have a shit ton of an ex expensive electricity bill, let's be honest. <sighs> I don't agree with you, Zeno. Problem is they can't advertise 120 frames easily because not many people can understand the idea of a faster moving picture. It's to understand that they're seeing more detail. I don't agree with that. Because when you think about it, Apple's been doing it for years. They've been advertising smoother displays than before. Many times. Apple has only just transferred to 120 hertz displays. They were using 90 hertz before for about three or four years and 60 before that. And every time they did that jump, they were saying the iPhone is now more smoother than ever. And everyone understood that. It's not the fact that they can't advertise it, it's that they refuse to advertise it because they think we want quality. Well, I don't fucking want quality, I want quantity at this point. But you think, my Samsung has a 120Hz display. And I can tell you right now, I notice when I moved to it and started using 120Hz mode. Even when I put it on power saver, it goes back to 60 hertz, and I notice the difference. Everyone notices the difference. Hmm. The thing is, though, developers are sort of hardwired now to make games for the short term. Granted, like, this game here was for the short term. Once Motorsport 4 came out, this game was irrelevant. Let's be honest. But, at least it was still enjoyable in the long term. I can come back to it now and enjoy it. I can't say the same about going back to Motorsport 7. That game's only five years old. I can't go back to that and enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying this. Not at all.
running. Oh. It's the same with, like, Guitar Hero. <laughs> I'm saying that because this song's just come on. But, like, Guitar Hero. The older ones were crap because the gameplay was terrible. But Guitar Hero 3, everyone played it. Even when the newer ones came out. Because 3 was perfect to how people wanted it. You know. It makes sense. Is that the last race? It is. I got 11 grand. Woohoo! Alright, so we are going to take part in the focus track days. Uh, I let chat vote, and chat has voted for the 09 focus. Uh, I've changed the colour to green, though, so it's a little bit different. Uh, we're going around Ladera Test Track, Sakuba Circuit, Silverstone, and then Magello. Let's get going. Ah! I don't even know what the fuck that was. <laughs> Oh, this, this is the shit. This is what this car is supposed to look like. Look at that wheel spin. Yeah, I d even I don't know. I was, I was supposed to be singing the song. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like a dead cat. In fact, a dead cat probably sounds better, let's be honest. And here we have Mech turning into a boy racer. Let's go. Meow. <laughs> this car grips. Oh, fuck. I got away with that one. Yeah, it's not quite a chav just yet. <laughs> this car has grip, proceeds to slide off. <laughs> that is amazing. Have you noticed that one? Fuck! Give them shelter like you've done for me. We got the line much better that time. Drug dealer! <laughs> this is our last uh, championship today, by the way, chat. Once we've done with this, we're moving on to... Well, no, I'd, I'm going to get my thumbnails and end the stream, but then next Monday we'll carry on with more Motorsport 3. Uh, tomorrow is going to be the Forza Cruises on Horizon 5. I don't know how much longer we're going to be doing them for um, because people haven't been showing up for them. So uh, I may be swapping that in for something else. <laughs> We've still got another half an hour before we end the stream. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be some time. So don't worry about that. Um... Yeah, so. And then Sunday is rallying. We got WRC 10 for the first part of the stream. And then for the second part, we're actually doing Dirt 4. Because uh, Dirt 4 is actually a much more underrated game than you realize. Okay, please, I would like you to fuck right off. Get out! Get out! <laughs> Leave! Leave! 
No, it's a fat moth. I ate him. Fucking ate him. Alright. <laughs> Crisis kind of averted, I guess. If I get into my bed later and that moth is there, I'm going to shit myself. Not even joking. Petrified of them. They're so annoying. They fly into your eyeballs. They love your eyeballs. For some reason. Because they're shiny. Ugh. That, by the way, was not my OBS lagging. That was genuinely... Uh... What's it called? The game stuttering. Oh, we're at 11 hours. Let's go. Seven grand. Uh, so we've got 20% discount on front anti-roll bars and rear anti-roll bars. Let's go. All right, here we go. I think I've made it quite apparent on multiple occasions on stream that I am petrified of moths. But whenever I say it, everyone's like, bruh. Like, it's... Uh, spiders I don't like, but like I'm not petrified of them. I'm not scared of them. But it's like a similar story. I just fucking hate moths. Hate them. They're annoying. Like, what has a moth ever done for you that's been good other than chew through your clothes and fly into your face? Let's be honest. This is new to me. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. thing is i gotta have my window open for fresh air so that makes it a million times worse like i could have my window shut and not have this problem but uh, i don't have air conditioning that's why when i move out and i get my own place i'm gonna make sure one of my rooms has an air conditioning unit in it so that i can have air conditioning in my streaming room so that it can always be cool when I want it. Yeah. My window hasn't closed once in the past four weeks because of how warm it's been in the UK. Like, granted, last night I was tempted to close it because of it starting to get quite cool. But then I was like, I'm comfy and I couldn't be bothered. And then this morning it was quite warm, so... Yeah, being comfy is king. I will agree with that. Once you're comfy, you don't need to do anything at that point. Just sleep. Oh, it's... Speak of the devil, I got to edit four videos tonight. Great. I will admit, the one part that I don't like about recording the videos is editing them. I've sort of gotten to a point where I'm, I'm not fussed but yeah having to edit them the editing part can be a bit tedious like I do it because I've got a project that I want to do I want to complete all the Forza games and I want to document it all and all that stuff um, 
Obviously, becoming a successful Twitch streamer and YouTuber is a bonus. I would like for that to happen, but, you know. Shit doesn't go your way. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Hope, hope, hopefully, some point in the future. But uh, right now, I'm just enjoying doing it because I've challenged myself because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> that moth has not moved. So far, as I know, it hasn't moved. Might be chewing through my mattress as we speak. What little fuckers they are. <laughs> it was expectable in the 80s. The 80s, the 80s. <laughs> Jack off in front of the moth. No one wants to see that. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. That could be like a two edged sword in a way. That's like an insult to me and an insult to. Jacking off. I guess. <laughs> I realise it doesn't work that way, so. <laughs> Maybe not. It was acceptable at the time. Yes, yes, it was. So here's the thing about uh, Motorsport 3 specifically. Um, Motorsport 3, the races are much shorter in a large majority. So even though it looks like a lot, the races are shorter. So, I believe this will probably take us 120 hours to complete, maybe? Probably about 10% of the way through. Even though, mathematically speaking, we're about 19% of the way through now. The only thing is, some of the later races are literally ages. So... I'm, I'm curious to see how long it's going to take us to stream this, to edit, upload this. I think it's going to take me about three months to finish this. Actually, no, four months, because I'm, like, not streaming for a month in September. make moment. No. I am a bit tired, actually. Uh, I gotta do some revision for fucking show me, tell me questions on fucking, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I am tired. Fucking hell. I gotta do fucking show me, tell me questions on, um, Practical tests. Because I, I want to do my practical tests and I want to pass first time. Because if I fail this fucking test, I, I, I'm fucked. <laughs> like, it's, it's going to be months before I get another test if I fail this. No, I mean like an actual practical test. I've, I've got my driving test next Wednesday. So in two Forza streams time, I'll be telling you if I failed or if I passed. <laughs> B 
He looked the wrong way, it's a policeman. La 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 la. <laughs> Get good. <laughs> Imagine me just turning around to my, um, uh, whoever the test person is and just saying, Get good. Give me a pass. <laughs> All right. I just realized we're on Miguelo. This is a beautiful track. I predict a riot. Go, 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 go! The focus is on his way. Well, you're wrong, Zeno. If you disagree that this song is a banger, then you are wrong. End of discussion. <laughs> this is one of the few songs that you cannot say is not a banger, because it is. A hundred percent. Watching the people get Larry. It's not very pretty, I tell thee. But walking through town is quite scary. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, how come this thing is doing this track slightly, basically in a similar speed to a fucking Peugeot 206 that we were using earlier? There's a similar speed. It's a high performance hatchback. I predict a riot. I predict a riot. <laughs> Peugeot is OP. Yeah, no, I beg to differ. I do like that there's a lot more variety in this game, like. I think I've taken two cars that have been duplicates for event three. But I've done 33 events. And I've got many more to do with much more variety still to come. I can take my favorite cars for a lot more events than expected. It's good. Sad. Ferrari when? I've already got my first Ferrari. The Ferrari California. We got it uh, not too long ago, I don't think. But uh, we've also got to do... I, I think I'm going to do... Oh, I'm trying to think. I think we're going to do um, the first 20 events on this professional series, which is the first four rows. Uh, and then I'm going to probably go back to the amateur events, because I should have enough that I could get an R1 car. And then I'll go back to complete the other 30 events in the professional. Do you know, I'm... I'll disagree. I actually like Ferraris. I think every Ferrari that's ever made has been beautiful. Some more than others. But I think they're all beautiful in their own way. They're, they are... Ferrari's designers are one of a kind. Like, there are some beautiful cars. There are some ugly cars. There are some cars that are ugly but grow on you. I, th I think the California is still quite nice. I think it's just because the California was just a cheap Ferrari when it came out. It's just a ridiculously cheap Ferrari compared to the rest of them. It wasn't fast, it wasn't amazing, it wasn't... But it was still a good-looking car. Granted, if you were to give me any Ferrari, that would be the last on my list, but it's still good-looking. Echo. Um. 
comes from the other world turn horizons into an the What a tune! I think that was the last event. But you know what happens when I think, oh, we're level 20, let's fucking go! Audi would like to recognize your excellent performance. They've sent you a 2010 Audi R8 5.2 FSI Quattro. Let's go! I got a 10% discount on valves and displacement. Doesn't every modern day car look like it wants to suck you off, though? Let's be honest. I got 11 grand for that. Woohoo! It's the Audi. This is the cover car. Ah, it's beautiful! Imagine getting that for free, though. Hoggers! <laughs> that is beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.